All right, so Ariel Hawani, the snake, the rat. And none of us are talking about Ariel Hawani. Said that. <laughs> okay, okay. I, you know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Ariel. You're not that bad. But he said that Taporia versus Max Holloway is being targeted for UFC 307, which is really interesting because if they end up scheduling the fight there, Elevation is going to play a massive role since fighters notoriously gas out hard in Utah. Just go back and watch UFC 278 and you'll see what I mean. All right, so the fight being in Utah, that seemingly favors Max Holloway since he has an unlimited gas tank, but let's actually break down this matchup. And, you know, I don't know about you guys, but this is one of the best matchups of the year. I mean, look, we've been seeing so many fights get canceled, so many dream matchups just fizzling out, being destroyed. But hey, look, I got a good feeling about this one. This one is gonna happen, and it's gonna be the best matchup of the year, I'm telling you right now. Because Max and Taporia are both at the peak of their careers. I mean, let's talk about Max Holloway. I mean, he is a UFC veteran. He's been in the UFC for 12 years now. Like 12, year 12 years ago, I was a senior in preschool. And now look at me, it's just insane. It's insane to think about 12 years in the UFC and he's still only 32. And Max Holloway has infinite cardio and he has the best chin in UFC history. Don't at me, bro. Don't come here and say, well, what about John Jones? I don't care about John Jones because Max Holloway does have the best chin in UFC history. He has taken so many shots and he's only gone down one time, kinda, against Justin Gaethje. And look, the greatest thing about Max Holloway is he's evolved his fighting style significantly in recent years. Moving from a, you know, volume striker to a more precise, power-focused fighter. Like, we saw in the Justin Gaethje fight just how devastating Max Holloway's power actually is. But, 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 look, look, look. Enough of the Holloway glazing. Let's talk about Ilya Teporia. So, Ilya Teporia is a rising star in the UFC. He's very well-rounded. He's a very complete fighter. And, you know, everyone's focusing on his striking lately, especially after his insane KO over Alexander Volkanovsky. But, look, 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 his grappling skills are just as impressive. I mean, we saw in his performance against Bryce Mitchell that Ilya Teporia can dominate on the feet and on the ground. So, Teporia's wrestling background could, you know, pose a new challenge for Max Holloway. Holloway because Holloway hasn't gone against too many fighters with such a diverse skill set, but Max Holloway is very good at staying on his feet and not getting taken down. So honestly, I don't think we'll see too much grappling from Ilya Teporia, but I mean, it's possible, but I just, uh, I don't think that's going to be the main game plan. But look, look, look. Let me explain why I think Max Holloway has the advantage coming into this fight against Ilya Teporia. All right, so first things first, Holloway's new fighting style, which has been focused on quality over quantity, I think that's going to be the decisive factor. His ability to maintain distance and utilize kicks could neutralize Ilya Teporia's boxing and grappling threats. Because honestly, that's kind of the name of the game in this fight. Holloway's success will depend on his ability to keep the fight at kicking range so he can limit Teporia's effectiveness in the pocket and reduce the threat of potential takedowns. Now, here's the thing. Here's what I think will be the ultimate determining factor. Max Holloway's experience. I think Max Holloway can hold things together a lot better than Ilya Teporia can. He can execute his game plan better than Teporia can because unlike Volkanovski, Holloway is only 32. So he's not going to be hit with the 35 year old curse like Volkanovski was. So I think Max Holloway is going to execute a nice game plan. I think he's going to win by decision. But there is one X factor, one little X factor, and it's how will the weight cut affect Max Holloway? Because if Max Holloway struggles to get down to 145, like he's done before, because he's already bulked up to 55, he's got a good 55 frame. You know, this weight cut could really, really drain him and leave his chin open to actually getting cracked for the first time ever. I don't know though. I don't know. Maybe the weight cut will be easy. Maybe it'll be hard. 
we're just gonna have to see on fight week. But look, but look, this is just my opinion. What's more important than anything in the world, it's what's your guys' opinion on this situation. Do you guys think Holloway's gonna win? Do you guys think Taporia's gonna win? Let me know in the comments down below. Let me know if you agree with me or you disagree with me. And if you like us, please like, comment, and subscribe. But if you really like us, please consider becoming an LSFC channel member for access to exclusive channel perks and our exclusive, you can only get them here, LSFC grappling resources, which are great for beginners and intermediates in jujitsu wrestling or any of those other ground combat sports. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Goodbye.